Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront updates and unfortunately some bad news in regards to LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. It's mostly been positive lately which I think is warranted because the game still looks absolutely amazing. But today we got some sad news because one of the things that they haven't talked a lot about and has really been up in the air has been the character customizer or the character customization in the game. Something that a lot of people obviously have wanted to see in the game but they've been very very quiet about it. The last thing we heard, as far as I know, was actually a developer interview back in 2019 where they said the following. Character customization is back, as it's always been. <sighs> okay. So you can create your own bounty hunter, for example, you can create your own lightsaber world in character. So you can actually hear them confirm that it's gonna be here. But that's like almost three years ago now, so a lot of things have changed since then. Delays, changes and whatnot and I still haven't said anything about the customizer since then which really made me think it's probably not going to be in the game and I actually said that in my live stream yesterday but today we actually got some confirmation on that uh, because Battlefront FR my good Battlefront friend uh, actually talked to a developer during his play session who confirmed that there's not going to be a customizer and he said the following Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga does not have a character customization although there are more than 300 playable characters from across the galaxy there are also a range of character classes including Jedi, Hero, Dark Side, Villain, Scavenger, Scoundrel, Bounty Hunter, Astromech Droid and Protocol Droid. Kyve Bricks allow players to unlock new features and upgrade abilities. So unfortunately for all of you who had hoped to get a character customizer that is not happening in this game. So how do I feel about this? Honestly, for my personal opinion, I don't really care that much. I barely used the character customizer in the old games, uh, but that doesn't really matter. I've seen a lot of you really wanting to have this feature, so it does make me incredibly sad. The majority of the stuff in this game looks amazing. They've added so much new features, so I definitely think it's warranted to maybe remove some of the old ones, but this really feels like something that I, I wish was in the game, and, and obviously it was in the planning at some point, since they talked about this in 2019. So I can't really be mad about it, but I wish they would have maybe handled it differently. They could have either just went out and said there's not going to be a character customizer the last year or so. But also since they knew that this interview was out there, instead of acting like people will just forget about it, maybe just go out and confirm. Unfortunately, we're not doing a customizer. That would have looked better on their end instead of basically swiping it under the rug and hoping that no one thinks about that when they pre-order the game. I don't know how much of a deal breaker this is going to be for people. I personally don't think it's going to be something that makes a lot of people cancel their pre-orders. But I have seen the comments and I've heard all the questions. There's a lot of you who want this feature and unfortunately it is not going to be in the game. But yeah, that's really all I wanted to say on the character customizer. I also wanted to quickly go over some of the recent stuff they posted out on their social media because they're being really active there. Pushing the game right now and the coolest clip I think was the 10 versions of Anakin to Vader that we got to see a few days ago where they basically showcase everything from uh, little kid Anakin all the way up to helmetless Vader with 10 different versions that you will be able to unlock in the game. And personally I think the charred Vader one is probably my favorite and the one I will be unlocking first if I have to prioritize my stats somehow. We also got this It's a Trap a clip with Admiral Akbar, of course, and another clip where they showcase the Pew Pew effect, which is something you can get by buying an extra, which I talked about in a previous video, uh, and then activating that, making all blaster sounds basically say Pew Pew Pew. To me, it feels like kind of a novelty thing that might be fun for like five minutes before you get bored of it and want to turn on the normal effects again but it was probably a pretty easy feature for them to implement anyways that was really all for this quick news update if you guys are looking for more lego star wars the skywalker saga content make sure to uh, check out my other videos i've put out a ton of them over the last couple of days thank you very much for watching and as always may the force be with you